Good morning, my name is Chef Chris. Um, I'm doing a demonstration here today about, we're going to do some basic knife skills with an onion. We're going to do a julienne cut, which are little sticks, and we're going to do a, a fine dice, or otherwise known as brunoise, which is a French term for small dice. Um, before you do any culinary uh, project, what you want to do is make sure you have what we call is your mise en place, which be, it's a French word for everything in its place. A lot of times when you're in the culinary industry, your chef will say to you, give you a recipe and say, hey, go get me the mise en place for this. And then you'll look at the ingredients and you'll get the, the ingredients that you need for the recipe at hand and you will get them all together. And you know, if they need to be chopped or something like that, you'll do that and you'll have it all in the little pieces and then the chef will come and demonstrate for you. So our mise en place for this project today is a clean sanitary cutting board, knife, some towels, and an onion. And let's get started. Okay, first thing is we want, let's talk about knife a little bit. Uh, we're going to use what today is called a 10 inch French knife. And as you can, uh, the, the knife is measured on the blade, the blade, not the whole knife, the 10 inches is how long the blade is. When you're picking out a knife, now your French knife is going to be the knife that you use the most of the time in this industry. It'll be your friend. Um, a lot of restaurants will actually have knife services where they bring you a nice sharp knife and you you know you get new knives every week or you, a lot of us chefs have our own personal knives that we like very much. I go back and forth. I have a chef, I have a knife that I like very much. This one is actually from a knife service. When you're using a knife or picking out a knife for yourself, what you want is a, a nice, what's called high carbon steel. But the most important part here is, as you can see this part here, it's called the tang. And you want a full tang, which means it goes all the way to the end. Sometimes the cheaper knives only go to here. And you want three rivets to hold that knife together. And you want it to be decently balanced. Okay, so that's the knife. Now, how to grip a knife is another thing. What, you don't want to put any anything on the blade. A lot of times you see people with their finger on the knife blade like that. That is incorrect. The only thing you really want on your knife blade is your thumb right here and your, your forefinger over the front of it like this. Now that's how you hold a knife, and it's nice and, and when you cut, you wanna cut into the board, push down and in. Now, the other, the most important part is how you hold whatever product that you'll be cutting. For instance, an, an onion, which I have right here, and we'll discuss in a little bit. But what, the way you wanna hold everything is, the best way to describe it is a man in jail or a bird in a cage and when you, you put your thumb, make sure your thumb is back behind your hands and you're gonna use the curve of your fingers here as a guide. And the m most dangerous thing, what I see most often is people get their thumb back around and they, they, you know, they cut it, so you don't wanna do that. All right, so now we've discussed how to hold the knife and how to hold your product. Today we're going to be uh, dicing and julienning an onion. Now most of the time in the industry you'll be using a yellow onion. I chose a red onion today because it'll look better, I think, on, on the film for the demo. Um, when you, uh, an onion, when you pick out, you want it nice and round, no blemishes on the side. And now the onion is what we know as a bulb. And what it is, it grows underground, and you can see the roots here. They go down and then the, the green part will come up. And when you're picking out an onion, you want to try to find one where the roots are as fresh as possible. Most of the time in the industry, though, you're not going to get to go pick out your onions. They're just going to send you a bag of onions and you have to do. But as you get further and further into your career in the culinary world, you'll you actually be able to tell what an onion looks like on the inside by the outside. So now the onion here has a top. This is the top that kind of grows up out of the ground. And this is the root. And the onion, the, it'll actually, they'll, they'll kind of crown on the ground like that when they pull them out. And so what, what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to begin to cut the onion. Um, first thing you want to do is take off the top, like so. That's the top, and then the bottom, and there's going to be a core in here, like so. So you want to get your hand down there and just straight down into the into the board. Now you have this off here. Now, in many kitchens, you're going to want to save your, your onion scraps, your skins, and the, the outer layers for stock pot, which we will discuss at a different time. So now, and I have my towels here, so I'm going to wipe the board clean, nice sanitary board. All right, and the next step is we want to cut the onions in half with, there's your top and there's your bottom. You can see the bottom still with the core. You want to cut right down the middle with the core. See how I'm pushing down and into the board? You want a nice sharp knife as well. You know, one of the most dangerous thing in a kitchen is a dull knife. 
You want to keep your knife nice and sharp and nice and clean. So now I've cut it in half and you can see how there's layers in the onion and what we're going to do is half of it we're going to dice and the other half we're going to julienne. So let's start with the julienne. Okay, so we have the julienne like this and what you do, you know you, your onion's in half here. So let's take off the first layer of skin here. You just It just peels right on off for you. And there are two types of julienne cuts that you can that you can do on an onion. The first type is this way down the onion, and as you can see on the onion, there's little lines in it, and those are filled with residual sugar. So if you're cooking the onion or caramelizing, you've probably heard of caramelized onions, and that is exactly what it sounds like. You're caramelizing your bits with sugar, and you're trying to get the sugars out of the onion. So if you're caramelizing an onion, you want to cut it this way, and I will show you here. Right, right down like so, and you'll see when it comes out, there's all these little holes, and the, what is called residual sugar, which is in the onion, will, will come out, and then it will, will start, when it hits the pan, it will start to brown, or what we call caramelized. So, the way to julienne an onion is, and then and you start from the top and work towards the core. So we're gonna start from the top, and work towards the core, and notice my man in jail, or, or bird in a cage, and you just kinda guide down into the, down into the onion like so and you see you get nice even pieces like so the other way to julienne an onion is up and down now if you're doing a raw onion you want to go up and up and down along the side of this because it will keep the sugars in the onion they'll be nice and sweet for you when you um, when you put it in a salad and the way to do that is same thing you always want to keep your keep your bird in the cage here and you just kind of come down and you'll notice that they make nice little as we go through you can see you have nice nice straight pieces right here like that and if, if, if you're really really looking for presentation you only pick out the real nice ones and you put those on your salad and the rest of it can go into your into your stock pot okay so that's the julienne so once again you can we can julienne when you're wiping something off a knife, always wipe this way, not this way. You don't ever want to come at your blade that way. So julienne down like that. You can do it like this for the for cooking. Once again, you can see all the little uh, capillary tubes are called and the sugar coming out. And that'll that'll turn nice and nice and brown and caramelized. Or we can do this way. And you see it has a nice, nice julienne cut. All right, so there's our julienne cut. Let me clear the board here real quick, wipe it down, and then we're gonna go into what we call the, the fine dice or the brunoise. So once again, you have the onion. Remember how we showed it, it came like this. This is the top of the onion. This is the bottom core. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first first layer off. And now, you have, now you have nice skin. And once again, you can reserve everything for stocks. You know, it's always utilize whatever you can in the kitchen. That's how that's how you prove your worth as a chef. Okay, now one of the uh, most dangerous cuts we're going to do in the kitchen is actually going to be right here because the first step towards dicing an onion is you're actually doing a horizontal cut, which you don't do very often in in the culinary world because it's it's kind of dangerous. Um, so when you're doing this cut, make sure of two things: you're on top of the onion here. You don't, you're not down here, so you want to keep everything up. So if you do, for catastrophic reasons, go through, it goes through. Now, what you want to do is keep your knife level and flat. That's the ideal. And if you have a nice sharp knife, that is good, because then you don't have to push real hard to go in there. Now, when you first start doing this cut, you know, error on the side of caution, so angle your knife down a little bit. So if, it, if you do slip and go through, it goes down in the cutting board and not up into you. So, all right, so the first cut here is first with our hands up here. Notice nice and flat, even with the cutting board. We go in and we try to go about three quarters to seven eighths. The longer you do this, the further in you'll be able to go with this cut. And you do this a couple times, like so again. Notice, and then probably one more. Okay, so that's Vertical cuts, depending on the size of your dice, how small you want it to be, or how big you want it to be, that's how many cuts you do. Now notice the onion is still intact. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing we kinda did with our julienne, but we're not gonna go all the way through. We're only gonna go to 
basically where we cut it. And notice I still have the same grip. My, my bird's in a, in a cage. And we go like this right on down, like so. About three quarters, notice it's three quarters to seven eighths in the onion. Like I said, the, the, the more coordinated you get with your knife and used to cutting onions, the, the, the further in you'll be able to go and the more of the onion you'll be able to utilize. All right, so now we've, now let's review, we've, we've gone horizontally this way with it angled down a little bit, with our hands up like this, moves on this way. Now, this is the magical part. Now, now we just cut like the original Julianne here. We just go down and into the cutting board and as it goes through, look at its beautiful little dice or brunois, which is the French term for diced onions, which are usually eight by eight. And as you can see, a nice pile of diced onions here and then depending on how much how much you need that you know you can go be real thorough and go all the way in and then turn this over and dice it some more or you can just utilize this part for stock all right so there's our that's our diced onion that's our julienne onion um, mm -hmm. so is there any questions that's a good question the best money many many she asked how do you keep onions? How do you how do I make onions not make you cry or tear so much? You know, everybody's grandmother has a way of, of, of saying, you know, you have the water pouring, have the water. The best way to do it is to have a nice sharp knife and be able to cut very quickly because the faster you get it, the, the less tears you're gonna have. Um, but thank you for that question. All right. Um, so now let's I've demoed that at a nice slow speed for you, but let me let me show you uh, the regular uh, chef speed for all this. Excuse me for a second while I I put this uh, cutting board over here. Actually, we'll just we'll just move this to the side over here because we're gonna we're gonna use that for for something later. Okay, so now we have a nice fresh cutting board. So now I'm gonna do this at regular speed. First, I'll do the julienne, and then I will do the um, the brunoise. All right, so we cut the bottom out like so, the top off like so. We cut it in half. Like that, take our peels off. Reserve that for our stock. Same with this side. And I will I will do the 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 uh, car the cooking version first. So make sure once again the core is at this side, man in a jail. And we just demo three, boom, 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 boom. And when you get better at it, you can act you know how to guide your knife, you won't even Really have to look, although I don't recommend not looking. And then you can do this other part here, at regular speed. And that's how you can have nice julienne onions and you rock it this way. And boom. And there's our there's our julienne, both both ways. And now here's the regular speed of of dicing an onion. Notice I have my hands back like this and I'm angled down a little bit. And this will be the cut you probably do the most often in the culinary world. I've diced many onions in my time. And many more to come. All right, and then we'll just go down like this. And then you have a nice little julienne and onion. All right. And there is your demo for julienne and diced onions. Um, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. and Thank you.